guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is to show you how to install solid Delrin plastic shifter bushings in the end of the Mark IV cables. So this only applies to the square cable ends found in 2002.5 to 2005 Mark IV vehicles. I believe it's also in Mark I Audi TT as well as some later ones, the 2006 Jetta GLI and GTI have the same ones. This will not fit the bushings or the cable ends that have a rectangle where it's narrower on the sides. That's just a different kind of bushing. So this can be done with the cables in the car. This video is to show you more if you have the cables out already and you have the cable end links already out of the vehicle. It makes it a little easier and you could do it a little more efficiently. You can just go ahead and pry and pull these all up. But if you do that, you do take the chance of damaging these little side posts. Um, the, really, the best way to do it is going to be to cut these out. So, let's get started. As you can see, there's a lot of play in the end of this bushing. So, the best way to do it is to cut here, here, and then flip it over and do both sides rather than try to pry everything out. So what you need is a really sharp razor and all you're gonna need to do, you don't wanna go too far, too hard. Just give a little slice down and then a little bit of a slice down. And if you go too far, especially on the second time, on the second side, you do run the risk of kinda of skipping off and damaging one of those sides. So once again, Give it a little cut. Give it a little cut. And then just see, now it's pretty much all the way freed. You may need to flip it over again. Give it a little bit more of a cut. The larger of the bushings doesn't seem to ever have really been attached on the top. The smaller diameter, there's a large and a small diameter. The smaller diameter is a more solid bushing. I believe from the factory, it seems like it's a lot tighter. So with that bushing, you're gonna wanna just go in and just give a little cut around the edges there and there. So now once you have this freed up, you can push that insert through. And then you're just gonna wanna take and roll that over to the inside. And make sure you get all of the rubber pieces out. They are molded kind of uh, behind the little diagonals in the corner. So if you just go from each side, they kind of, they're so brittle, they really just break right off. And, oh, that side too. And then if you do have a couple pieces left, you can just kind of pry them out. There you go. So now that we have the cable end all hollowed out, it's ready for the new bushings to be installed. Replacement bushings are available online. I'll put a link in the description below to my store. They are a solid Delrin plastic and they are made with pretty tight tolerances. So you just want to kind of push that in there and it's a split bushing which eliminates the need for any additional hardware. Put that in there and there is, there's two diameters. There's the large and there's the small diameter. There are also a different height too. The pins are just made a different way between the uh, vertical and the side side or the uh, front back and the side side cables. 
Now, when you do have these apart, you are gonna need to readjust your shifter and your cable ends. So you do need to lock the shifter into place. You don't really need a special tool to do it. You can get away with just using a, a 20D bright common nail. Uh, if you don't have a shifter knob on, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to put a bend in the nail. You can cut the nail a little shorter. You could put a bend at, it's at uh, two and a half inches from the tip. You put a little bit of a bend in it to clear your shifter knob. Or if you're in a pinch, you could also get away with using a 3 16 inch drill bit. And that's just to lock the shifter in the car into place for when you're adjusting the cables. Um, when you do put this back into place, and I do recommend, I would give it an adjustment even if you're putting it back on a Mark IV. I would definitely suggest you're going to have to do some adjustments if you're putting this into something like an O2A transmission from a Mark III and switching all over to that setup. You're going to put the pin into the shifter inside. And then once you get this all pulled back like that, you pull towards the cabin on the shift cable and snap that back into place. And then you do that for both. And then once that's all set up, you can remove the pin on the inside of the vehicle and test your shifting. Here's both bushings installed in the cable ends. It really is that simple. You can see there's a little bit of a difference in thickness because of the two different thicknesses of posts. Um, it can be done inside of the vehicle, but this does make it a lot more efficient. You don't run the risk of breaking off something by prying. You could break these corners off that would cause some unwanted flex in the cable end, or at worst case, you could actually end up cracking your cable end altogether. So that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks.